so in terms of intellectual disability, you know, we often characterize, you know, to mild, moderate, severe, and profound. And the largest group is the mild group. So mild ID, uh, and then moderate. And sometimes you'll see, uh, because as we get it, you know, towards profound, severe and profound, it's harder to actually get a good measurement of somebody's cognitive ability. When you get down to severe to profound, someone says, well, you know, profound is usually 20 IQ of 20 below. You always have to have the adaptive behavior um, deficits as well, of course. But, you know, if somebody has an IQ of 20 or 22 or 25, is that severe or profound? You know, it gets actually very difficult to measure at that point. Um, I will tell you, my son's more in the the um, moderate, mild to moderate range, I would say, maybe a little more on the, on the uh, moderate range. Um, because he's deaf, I'm just using him as an example, if somebody is deaf or blind, um, usually then when a psychologist like myself is looking at IQ, it's going to be on the low side. So my son's, uh, uh, I've had an assessment where his IQ came out at 45. Well, he functions higher than that, but his deafness sort of drove down the testing. So, you know, you have to take all these things into consideration is, is my point. Um, so when you get to, you know, the twenties and severe to profound and you get below 20, it's probably um, very difficult to, to measure at that point, but you know, you have somebody with very limited cognitive abilities and they're pre-verbal in terms of their communication. So we're really, and sometimes people will say, and I know some people don't like the idea of saying, well, an age, but sometimes we'll say, you know, so-and-so is functioning at about a 10 month old, age, you know, level. I think that actually can be helpful sometimes to conceptualize that way, even though the person is, you know, 25, 30, 40, whatever they are, you, you, you can kind of say, okay, well, a 10 month old baby or you know, it's not going to have full language. They can maybe point to some things. They understand some things, but they're really, you know, in terms of their communication, uh, more limited. And that's the population we're talking about when we get into severe, profound intellectual disability.